Hi friends, how are you all? Welcome back to Soulful Knowledge. So in my channel, I'm posting regarding Kundalini Awakening and Spiritual Awakening. So if you're interested in this, you can follow my channel. Plus, I'm making videos in two languages, in Tamil as well as in English. So if you wanted to check only in English version, you can check my playlist. So if you see my previous videos, I spoke about spiritual awakening, about twin flames. So how spiritual awakening is happening? So why it is happening? So all these information I spoke. So why it is happening? The main reason to rise our energies. So why spiritual awakening is happening? I have done a separate video. So how we are being separated from this cancerous cell. So how uh, I did a comparison between our human system and to the world. So as a cancerous cell only, we are becoming in the world also. So we are becoming cancerous in nature. So avoid this destruction phase. We are separating from these cancerous patterns. So that's why spiritual awakening is happening. So the, uh, the main reason is against the narcissistic energy, spiritual awakening is happening. So who are these narcissism? So everyone uh, was spiritual awakening right now, you would have understood about the narcissism. So many of them are started to talk about narcissistic energies. Even normal people are talking about narcissistic people, narcissistic leadership. So abuses, narcissistic abuses. So healing from narcissistic energy. So all these things, they started to talk about these narcissism. So now what is the relationship between narcissism and spiritual awakening? If you see, we are getting spiritual awakening mainly because against this narcissistic energies. Because this narcissistic energies are only cancerous in nature. So already I've explained about how cancerous we are changing the whole world. So people energies are becoming cancerous and patterns are becoming very cancerous in nature. Because we are not getting proper consciousness. Without getting the consciousness, we have formed the local consciousness without any ethic system. So, without any integrity, the consciousness has been for formed and it is cancerous in nature. And people are getting trapped in this cancerous patterns. So, to, so if we allow this to happen, the, it will spread throughout our world and the whole world is going to become cancerous in nature. And we are going to be in a destruction mode. To avoid this, what is happening is we are getting the consciousness again the shift is happening we are coming to the timeline where we are closer to some consciousness and we are grasping the consciousness and spiritual awakening is happening and we are separating from these cancerous energies that is narcissistic energies narcissistic patterns from these energies only we are being separated so that's why we are getting spiritual awakening against these cancerous energies. That is the narcissistic energies. So narcissistic people are there with narcissistic energies and patterns are there. We all been locked inside that pattern and now we have separated from that. So narcissistic people are people who are against spiritual awakening people. So today... What I'm going to tell is about, already I've spoke about what is uh, narcissism in Tamil. So today I'm going to tell about the 10 signs of narcissistic personality, narcissistic personality disorders. So there are so much of information about narcissism. So everything they are like uh, telling every details about the too much of information, but in my experience, from my experience from narcissistic people, I'm going to explain about the 10 exactly refined signs of narcissistic energies. These are the 10 important signs. So, narcissism itself is like a spectrum. A person may have all these 10 signs who will fall under high level narcissistic person. Few people may come under like six, six to seven signs. They may be in middle level narcissistic personality. Few people like one or two narcissistic traits will be there. Lower level narcissistic personality. So it is like a spectrum. We cannot tell all everyone are like highly very narcissistic. Few people are too much of very. They have high level of narcissistic cancerous personality. But few people are just 
exposed to that and just starting but eventually they will be they also every narcissistic traits will become in a very high level narcissistic personality disorder so the first point is narcissism itself is about i admiring about themselves it's about self love narcissism itself we know that about self love it's about i it's about themselves it's about like uh, admiring about themselves too much giving self importance for themselves so people around them will be completely drained away because they only think about themselves for 24 hours they only think about themselves even if they are parents they don't care about their kids they only think about themselves so Uh, too much admiration will be there in narcissistic energy they will actually love themselves they they don't fall for others because they are in their self love they are in their self importance so they think no one is greater than them so every narcissist will think that no one is greater than them but they don't understand the value system for others so that's why it's very difficult to be around the personality like this always they are talking about themselves always they'll be in the self admiration self love even they want others to talk about themselves others to they'll be in that attractive mode so this is the first sign of narcissism so second sign is that grandiosity we all know that the classical thing is about grandiosity so classical narcissist always wanted to be like in a grandiose manner maybe in money or power they give a bigger picture than what they have so if you see normal people who are millionaires or billionaires who are not narcissistic in nature they always portray very subtle outside they will not show that exact picture outside because that will not be the importance their importance is to expand their intelligence to actually expand their empire or concentrate in others if they are leader they think about the country but if you see narcissistic personality even their inner thing is not that much valued but they'll portray in and very grandiose level they'll portray in, in outside as if they are in so much of wealth or so much of uh, uh, happiness or so much of they have so much of power accumulated so it is a fake portraying only will be happening so if you see the real personality who are like really they are into these uh, multi billionaires billionaires into this technologies into this powers they'll be very subtle they will not show out all these things outside but if you see narcissistic personality even it is limited they are very limited in their money or their uh, materialistic things or their power or their beauty they'll portray as if they are so much great outside they are like uh, double the things and they will portray outside main concept why they are like so much of grandiose is that main concept is to attract people they actually feel happiness la- by making others jealous of them they will not their only motive in life their only like uh, driving force in their life is to make others jealous of them or uh, to make people fall for them or to gather a crowd for them only for that they feel happy and they feel satisfied and this is the only driving force for them but the real people who are intellectual people or business people or leaders will never fall for this they know their purpose and they'll just do their for purpose and they'll follow that but narcissistic personality because of their grandiosity their uh, thoughts will be every time about themselves so what they think is people they try to attract people around them so because of that they will show a fake grandiose around them so it may be fake sometimes it may be real sometimes but the thing is that they will actually over show off what they have maybe it's beauty or money or materialistic things car bungalow or uh, all these things they'll multiply that and they'll show portray it outself as though they are very great personality this is actually narcissistic in nature this does not happen with uh, normal people or normal ethical people so third 
sign is high level manipulation so this everyone are talking about this about narcissistic people are manipulating so much so manipulation it'll it will be to the core because why they are doing this is they will not follow any ethical system they think they can achieve anything by telling anything or lying to any lying to someone so lying is not in the lower level in the it will be in a very high level so to cover up something they lie and to cover up that again they lie they will not think that anyone will find about that about them so it is to the core they will manipulate and since they are very high in logical sense they will actually this manipulation will be very difficult to find out so many people who are empathetic in nature who are like normal personality will fall for this manipulation so to make others as a prey for them and to use them to use them in a like let's say for money or like many humanizers so mainly like manipulators will be in masculine like male and feminine are just falling for this manipulation female are just falling for this manipulation because uh, masculine or uh, some masculine mostly will be like they'll use their logical sense so male will actually understand that they are like uh, uh, how manipulate a manipulation is happening but female are not into that maybe like uh, outside it is like that but uh, may, maybe like female also started to manipulate but most of the cases are female are becoming their prey for their manipulation high level manipulation one is for sexual for sexual abuse one is for to money to, to use them for the money so one is for the power so all these things they are manipulating and making the feminine energies as their prey this like uh, maybe like uh, even female are doing but mostly male are only doing this so so like they are actually using this as a tool this thing they are using as a tool to manipulate actually this is a difference between a normal ethical person normal normal people will use their intelligence in an ethical way and try to grow but narcissistic people will use this manipulation to grow not only to grow to make others as that prey to cheat others so manipulation is mainly they are using this as that tool to cheat others to make others to fall into that trap and they are using this in a high level logical way so that many people are again and again they are falling into the trap so at one time they are going to get caught that is another thing but this is a main tool for narcissistic people high level manipulation fourth point is narcissistic people are highly controlling in nature if you see narcissistic people they are they actually keep the people around them in in their control they'll either manipulate and keep them in their control emotionally they will track and keep the people others in their control or they'll show their arrogance or uh, they'll uh, actually blackmail them or keep other people in fear and in that way they'll keep others in their control they actually wanted to keep other people's under their control because their value system is not within them their value system is just outside them they want people around them to be with them so to keep them in control they use all the tactics emotionally they'll blackmail or they'll manipulate so much or they'll keep them in fear so so keeping them under their control they may sexually abuse or uh, they may use them for money or they may physically abuse so all these are happening to keep other people under the narcissistic control they are in narcissistic in nature these people are very dangerous so uh, if you take like pa many parents are also narcissistic in nature if you take children belong to these parents are very like they be th these parents are so controlling nature that every single thing uh, they decide for their children even that dress everything will be decided by their parents it's not that they are giving so much importance for the children because of their grandiose nature what they think is society because for the society they will do all these things they force the children for the society to come under their control come come under their norms 
maybe the children are not narcissistic nature they wanted to live their life their own life to be empathetic but these parents will force their children also to actually live for the society so narcissism itself is about to show off for the society so that's why they will control their children also to become like them or control their partners or control their lovers to actually to become like them that's why they are controlling so they are very dangerous people because they are so much of in control they'll keep others to they'll go to the core they'll go to the actually go to keep other people's under their control they don't like people leaving them so to keep them in their control they use all the narcissistic traits so fifth one is very important one is lack of empathy so this you have heard in narcissistic many people talking about narcissism lack of empathy so what is empathy if you see it's about thinking emotionally to have a soft corner for others to have think emotionally for others this completely narcissistic people will lack because narcissistic people are ma- uh, mostly masculine in nature they completely think from their mind they are very strong in their mind they can think what others are thinking in the in the mind level but they are very very weak in their emotions they cannot even understand their own emotions emotionally they are not able to handle their own emotions and they cannot understand others emotion also they never pity for others they are, they actually pity for themselves every time they'll pity for themselves there's some the world has done wrong for them that's why they because they have to trigger their ego but they will never pity for others so the same thing they will just do for others they have empathy empathy for others they never pity for others because they cannot handle emotions for example if you see in a narcissistic partner so much of uh, fight would have happened argument would have happened in their life um, definitely a situation would have come in their life so much of uh, like uh, misunderstanding uh, one of the empathetic partner will be like so much of in distress emotionally uh, she or he will break down emotionally she or he will be crying or like uh, they wanted to solve the situation but after so much of thing if you see that narcissistic per- person they'll just go and lie down and sleep peacefully nothing will hurt them others emotions will never hurt them they'll never think in from others emotion how much ever you cry how much ever you feel for the relationship or anything like that it will never going to hurt them they'll just be peacefully they'll at the at next seconds they'll just sleep peacefully so emotionally it will not affect them they think this is only strong for them that but that is not the truth there are four levels of intelligence one is the iq eq aq and sq so narcissistic people are only in high q that that intelligence level in data level in information level in mind level but other things also are there emotional intelligence is there and other other types of intelligence also that they completely lack in other types of emotionally they are not strong enough they think that people who are emotionally they are crying people who are crying they emotionally weak it's not like that they are letting out their emotions narcissistic people will not let out that emotions will just keep inside they don't know how to let out their emotions they'll just keep inside and slowly they'll build up into a negative way slowly they'll become arrogant slowly they'll become uh, in negative way they'll go because they cannot show their emotions outside so normal empathetic people will try to show their emotions and narcissistic people will feel that it it is like a weaker thing to show the emotions so that's why many relationship are splitting up because of this reason because narcissistic people never accept others emotion and feel that other people are showing their emotions because of their weakness that is not the truth so this thing i will explain detail in the future so the sixth point is about gaslighting so this like many of them would have heard about many of them would have told about glass, gaslighting narcissistic people are using this about gaslighting so what is this gaslighting it is actually very interesting thing to know about gaslighting so it is not like manipulation gaslighting is something like it is due to in the mind level for example if you say 
a person would have told would have said something two days earlier and after two days if someone has uh, again started up that conversation they'll completely deny about that which they have said for example let's say everyone will follow some ethic system in life let's say i like some hero i like some colors i like something they follow some ethic system throughout their life they will not change often they will not change anything so sometimes it may change like let's say i like blue color like from the small age from the younger age i like blue color sometimes i can change into gray but not often will change the ethics system but these narcissistic people this gaslighting is something it's very interesting they will never follow any ethics system for example let's say let's say a person like red color they will be so confident till that time their partner would have understood that that person will like only red color so they would have uh, openly said that i like only red color so what happen is their partner or wife or the lover will buy a red color shirt for them so after buying that shirt for them they'll completely deny that what's that why did you buy that red color i hate that they'll actually tell that i hate that red color so this is how that they completely do not follow any ethics system so two days before or one month before they would have told something i like like uh, they would have told that i like only these things to eat or oh, i like this color or i like this places to go so after some time if you have that thing completely they'll deny that they will talk as if they never spoke about that anywhere this they'll make others crazy so glass lighting is the top thing about narcissistic because they'll make others crazy they'll actually tell in a very high level confident they'll be so confident they'll uh, deny few things it will actually make others to think i am i really like uh, new about them so that's why we cannot actually predict them they will actually change their ethics system every time they'll be changing so uh, today they'll be telling one thing they'll follow something they'll tell i'll follow i like only football i don't like cricket they tell tomorrow completely they will deny that they'll tell i like only cricket i don't like football because they do not follow any ethics uh, ethics system this you can see in covert narcissist so completely they'll be changing their ethics completely they'll be changing they will never follow one ethics system they will be completing changing and we cannot even like rely on them for anything we cannot trust them or rely on them because of their very low ethic system this you can see in covert narcissist so different types of narcissist i will explain in my next video already i explained about this in narcissism you can check that playlist in english version i will explain so you can check that like different kinds of narcissists like three types of narcissists are there i have explained about that you can check in my uh, playlist narcissism and three types of narcissists in english version only i have spoken you can check that seventh one is arrogance not uh, so many people many narcissists like uh, treat people in different way but one of the narcissists are they are very very arrogant in nature they are physically abused they are mentally abused they are sexually abused so they are very very arrogant in nature because they'll try to keep others around them in control using the fear they'll be shouting so much throwing things they'll actually physically abuse and by this way like they'll try to keep others in their control so you actually understand something that people who are timid only just they'll fall into trap for them they are actually not that they are fearless they actually are fearful for other people higher than them but they completely target people are lower than intelligent than them and they'll try to keep them into their control by throwing arrogance they are very arrogant in nature these types of people are only will become like psychopaths sociopaths so uh they'll actually not tend to kill others not tend to rob things steal things they lie a lot they are very arrogant in in nature so one type of narcissistic people are very they are very barbaric they are very low level narcissism they are very arrogant in nature so in a very animalistic way only they'll behave they are very dangerous form of narcissistic and they'll keep others into their control in by blackmailing them keeping them in fear not only that 
emotionally they'll trap them and keep them in fear and mostly women are suffering because of this because male narcissistic harrogan narcissistic are keeping the women under their control because of fear so these are are the narcissistic uh, dangers we are having in our society eighth one is eighth sign is narcissistic people do not have a long term relationship either they may, may be a friends or maybe a relatives or uh, that partners they will not have any long term relationship because always they are thinking about themselves they are putting themselves in the friend we cannot have a have a good conversation to them because every time they'll be talking about themselves they will not have any importance for others they will not give any importance for their friends or their partners or their uh, or even their kids they always keep them in their center of their conversation so because of this nature people tend to go away from the initially because of their grandiose nature they'll portray as if they are very perfect they are very kind hearted or they are very uh, like uh, so glamorous they'll portray like that initially crowd will come and as the days goes on they will actually people around them will understand that they are just faking off the things and they'll just leave off and when the people are leaving they'll become high level narcissistic and they'll try to control others by arrogance or manipulating or by gaslighting so this is why that that tactics will come out and they will try to control them they are cancerous in nature so people around them will try to tend to leave so special awakening also is coming to actually split or from their energies the ninth one is very important so they may seem very powerful they may seem very intelligent very like a uh, successful personality they may seem like uh, uh, in a very grandiose level even though they are like this they are very very insecure in nature because their self value does not depend on themselves their value system depend on others so everyone has to actually accept them everyone actually have to admire them when these things are getting withdrawn from this they will become very insecure they are very fearful in nature also inside but outside they will not show that so these things by attracting others only that satisfaction will come by making others jealous only others have to feel jealous for them then only that satisfaction will come that happiness will come when this is not happening they feel very insecure to lose the people around them they may be they may torture others they may torture their wife they may blackmail them everything they'll do like gaslighting everything they'll do but they will never wanted to lose the people around them because they are very insecure because they are just preying on others they they are like parasites they just want others energy they are actually grasping others energy so people around them will drain their emotional energies completely they will drain others emotional energies because they don't have any emotions emotional energy they'll just take the emotional energy from outside and they'll drain that so that's why they are very insecure and people around them also they'll make people around them also insecure to by keeping track for them so this is the ninth ninth sign of narcissistic people so next next one is the 10th one is a very important one so they may be admiring themselves they may be like in grandiose level they wanted like flourish in their uh, materialistic things they wanted to show off they wanted to show off their beauty their power so everything like they wanted but the one main thing is about narcissistic people is they are unsatisfied people they will never have any satisfaction let's say let's, let's say they be may be be humanizer they'll have same they would have manipulated they would have uh, gone with so much of women or tracked so much of women even though they will never satisfy maybe hundreds thousands so so much of people they be flirting with them they will be never satisfied they are unsatisfied people next is money how much ever money they earn they will never be satisfied so one thing is the real people who are earning billionaires they'll go in a very ethical way these people like they'll go in an indirect manipulation way 
they will never satisfy with the materialistic desires that grandiosities how much ever they actually portray themselves how much ever people are jealous of themselves they still wanted to have more still wanted to become more they'll never be satisfied with that even power how much ever powerful they are how much ever like so much of uh, maybe they have so much of uh, body cuts all on them even then they are not satisfied with them they have to be very powerful so it is a normal thing that uh, in a society level people are actually uh, racing with others it's a very normal thing but if you see at one level everyone will come to that maturity stage let's say in middle age we'll be focusing on the uh, pleasures enjoying all those things next level we will be focusing on the uh, accumulating materialistic desires then we'll move on for the powers then we'll do and we'll come to a state that okay this is enough for us we'll start doing for others for the kids or uh, let's uh, let's uh, do for the society so this is how the mindset of the growth normal people should be but narcissistic people are not like that let's say if they are women i said even six till 60 years they'll be like that only they are only important in their life their only job or only purpose in their life to attract those women to have a uh, sexual enjoyment or to enjoy in their life their only enjoyment would be that only enjoying with their friends enjoying in life women isers or uh, if you take women that are showing off their beauty so having materialistic life to having a grandiose life so they will never be satisfied with that we cannot satisfy these people so next thing is power or materialistic desires so anyone who are with this narcissistic personality how much ever you serve for them how much ever you do for them they will never get satisfied how much ever you have you try to impress them or they will never get satisfied so that's why people are draining their energies draining the empathetic people around them so these in this type of energy if we go and tra- get trapped with that we are going to emotionally get drained finally we are going to be abused we are going to get they going to use us and throw us a dustbin because they don't have any ethic system they don't feel empathy for others so surrendering for these narcissistic energies are very dangerous we are going to be in a destruction mode only they'll just use our energy and they will be growing and they will not get satisfied they'll be growing they'll not get satisfied they'll just suck up blood drain our energies how much ever we do they'll not be happy if you take narcissistic pa- parents they'll be even jealous of their kids how they are enjoying in their life so they will narcissistic high level narcissistic parents will not allow their kids to enjoy also so that's how sad is they'll be so narcissistic people are very arrogant so unsatisfied people they are even sadistic in nature so if you see normal people they are not like that normal empathetic people will feel happiness if people around them are happy they feel sadness when people around them are sad so narcissistic people are not like that they feel happy when people around them actually when they are sad this is saddest narcissist they feel sad when people around them are enjoying more than them this is the high level narcissistic cancerous energies so people who are trapped in this narcissistic energies are very difficult to come out there because they're going to drain away all their emotions and they you going to use them they're going to like manipulate them so they're going to make them crazy and they're going to just throw out they will also not leave them it is spiritual awakening which has come to help us to split away from these narcissistic energies they'll again and again try to keep their control because they want people around they are very insecure in nature they want people around them they are like parasites they want to emotionally use others so okay guys now you would have understood all these 10 things these 10 things are only very important things about narcissism so many people are talking about many things but i have actually refined this and this 10 things are only very important to Uh, to know about narcissism if you feel some people having these qualities please be away from them don't go into that trap 
or get manipulated with them so real people will not show the grandiosity real intelligent real powerful or real uh, millionaires billionaires or they, they will actually be very subtle in nature they will not show the grandiosity only narcissistic people will show the grandiosity and if you are attracted to those things finally you will be destroyed they'll just use you and they'll just throw you out so okay guys hope so all this information were useful for you all so thanks for watching so this is shomna bye from soulful knowledge